everyone, we're going to determine whether the series is convergent or divergent. We're going to use the ratio test given here. If you can't see this very well, I'm going to write it out for you. Uh, but if you can't see it, um, I do have this on my Facebook page if you want to save a photo of that. But let me write it out for you. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity. And we're doing the absolute value of um, a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n. This is your a sub n. All right. So basically, we're just taking our um, numerator is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity. And we copy this down as 1 times 3 times 5 times dot, dot, dot times and then 2n minus 1. And then uh, for your n plus 1, your next term. It's going to be 2n plus 1. All you do is just add this 2 to this negative 1. Or you can do 2 times n plus 1 minus 1. And you'll get that. And um, this is going to be divided by uh, 5 to the power of n plus 1 times n plus 1 factorial. Now. We're going to multiply this by the reciprocal because we're really dividing. So if you multiply by the reciprocal, and I should have saved some room here, but I didn't. So the reciprocal is just, reciprocal is just going to be um, 5 to the power of n times n factorial divided by 1 times 3 times 5 times dot, dot, dot times 2n minus 1. All right. So all we have to do now is simplify this, and we'll get the limit as n approaches infinity. Now let's look and see what we have. We're going to have this piece divided by 5n. So basically we have, um, or times 5n. So we have 5 to the power of n divided by um, um, 5 times 5 to the n the power. So that's going to um, just set, cancel out and give you 1 fifth. So you're going to have 5 in the denominator. So that takes care of these two pieces. Now this all cancels out. So you're left with in the numerator 2n plus 1. And then for this piece here we have n factorial now, n factorial, um, that's in your numerator, can be written as n times n uh, minus 1 factorial. And then um, for denominator, we have n plus 1 factorial. So let's do this. We're going to write n factorial in the numerator, and the denominator is going to be n plus 1 times n factorial. So that cancels out. So the denominator just has n plus 1. All right. Now that we took care of all of that, we can evaluate the limit. And um, this is going to end up being, to simplify all this, it's going to be the limit as n approaches infinity. And we're going to have 2n plus 1 divided by 5n plus 5. If you divide each piece by n, you're going to get two-fifths. And this is less than 1, so the series converges by the ratio test. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <music>